guys, it's Sarah. Happy St. Patrick's Day. Um, I am just coming on to make a really quick video. I have a few things I want to talk about. Um, I want to send out some thank yous and things like that. So, first and foremost, thank you to all my new subscribers. I've gotten a lot this over the weekend. And I always forget to say that, but I really appreciate everyone's interest um, in my journey. And thank you for all the really sweet comments. And um, particularly, there was a several that made comments about my body shot video the other day, saying that I didn't look like I was a size 16. And I really appreciate that. That means a lot. Um, because I still struggle with seeing myself as how I really look now. Um, but there's been a few things that have happened the last couple of days that I'm like, wow, um, that I want to share with too. Um, the other thing I want to talk about, or something else, somebody else I want to thank you again. I'd like to thank, I, I sent a thank you out to her once before, um, is Elizabeth VSG, and she does not make videos yet. Um, I can't remember if she told me she was going to start making them or what, but, um, she has really, she's the one that gave me the awesome rings, and um, she's just said some really nice, inspirational things to me, and Elizabeth, I really appreciate that. Um, I, I know that we don't really know each other, but I feel like that we are already friends, and this week, she sent me the sweetest little letter, and I'm going to read it to you. Um, it said, Sarah, I know you had a bad week, and this is just a little reminder of how much I appreciate everything you share online. Think of it as a no-calorie pick-me-up. Best of all, it always fits. Love, Elizabeth VSG. And I, I smile from ear to ear when I open the package. Um, she sent me tons of earrings. And um, I sent her a message and asked if she made these because I was thinking it looked like she might have made them. But I don't know if she did or not. But look how cute these are. I'm going to wear these. Um, I'm not wearing any now. But I'm going to wear these with something uh, today because it's St. Patrick's Day. I'm excited about those. Those are probably my favorite. There's all these little earrings, and they're so sweet. And it was so sweet of her to do that. Um, and they're beautiful, too. So, Elizabeth, I really appreciate that. Um, you did not have to do that, but I can definitely tell you that you made my week. Your generosity made my week. Ooh, there's some more green ones. I love those. Um, and um, it is not about sending people stuff, guys. I mean, I've sent a few things from time to time. There's some really cute pink ones. I wore those yesterday. Um, but it's just so nice that we have this awesome community. Look how cute these are. There's some blue ones. Um, it's just really nice that we have this awesome community, community and that we can come on and share our feelings and our thoughts and, um, good times and bad times. And anyways, Elizabeth, I really appreciate you and I wish that you live closer and that we, you know, could hang out and. And really be friends. Not that we can't be friends, but you know what I mean. Um, but anyways, I just want to spend, send a special thank you to her because this really, it touched my heart. And I really appreciate that. Um, so, just a few little other things I want to talk about really quickly. Um, I wanted to share my green dress with you guys today. This was supposed to be my Easter dress. And I cannot back up enough for you to see it. But I'm wearing a belt. That's a non-scale victory. It's purple, but you can't tell. Um, it looks black in this video. Um, but then I realized today was St. Patrick's Day and it was green, which you can't even tell how what a pretty green it is, but it's like a it's like a grassy green. Um, or like an emerald green. But anyways, um I was really excited. I realized today was St. Patrick's Day and I thought, oh, I gotta wear that belt. So then I wore my matching purple bracelet and my belt and my hair bow. Anyways, and I always keep my have my keeping it real bracelet on. I'm supporting you, Robbery. Now, every time I see this, I think you and what an inspiration you are and have been to my journey um, daily, and it pumps me up and it keeps me on the right track. Um. Oh, and Banster for Life, and I have not finished watching it uh, because I had to pause it to go to church. But she made a really great video this morning about things that she does uh, and wears to um, remind her. Um, about her journey and, and the goals that she has. I loved that. Loved it. And when I, and it made me think of this bracelet. Um, it made me think of the sweet earrings that Elizabeth sent me. Because when I wear those things, guys, I think about why I'm on this journey and why I'm focused. Um, 
Master for Life made me, she makes me want to get one of those rings. There's, you need to check that out. She, she has a phenomenal journey anyways, and I really loved that video. Okay, so two things really fast I want to share. So, um, there is this, I don't know what you want to call it, um, like kind of a high-end clothing line called Matilda Jane. I don't know if anybody's heard of them or not. They're really popular in our area. Super expensive stuff, way overpriced. However, last night when I was laying in bed thinking about this cute dress that I just bought, uh, I was thinking about how that, you know, I was thinking about that I paid $74 for this dress. Um, I think it was $74, it might have been $84. And, you know, when I was buying stuff from um, Lane Bryant, like cute, you know, the cute, the Easter dress I bought a couple years ago um, that I wore to Hawaii, it's, it was like a strapless dress. It was flower. Oh, it was beautiful. I sent that to somebody, but, um, or I'd show it to you. But if you, I've got, if you're my Facebook friend, there's some pictures of me in it on Facebook. Anyways, um, so, I'm sorry, I'm looking for the picture to show you. Um, not of that dress, but anyways, but you know, I think about, I, I mean, I probably paid close to a hundred bucks for that dress. Um, plus size clothing, it, it, clothing is not cheap at all. Um, but anyways, so, since losing weight, never been in, invited to Matilda Drain, Jane trunk, trunk shows before. They have women's and children's clothing. Um, I don't, I don't think they have little boy. I think it's all girls. My, there might be some boy stuff. I can't remember. But anyways, I don't really understand the whole system, but you have to, you can go online, you can make a wish list, like you get invited to like a trunk show or when the new collections come out, like it's all the rage and blah, 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 blah. Well, I've been invited to like four or five parties since I lost this weight. Four or five parties, which is so cracking up to me. And I almost wanted to boycott it because I was like, I cannot believe people are sending me these requests, you know, now that I can actually wear the clothes. Because we don't have kids, so people hadn't sent them to me in the past. But this last collection went out, the Good Heart Collection, I think like two weeks ago, and I purchased a dress for myself and then for my new niece coming. And um, I got the dress this week. And when I saw it, originally I thought, oh, that is not gonna fit me um, because it just looks tiny and, or small. And it's an extra large, um, but it fits and it looks so cute. Now, I'm gonna show you the picture and just ignore my big flabby arms um, and I hope you can tell, but anyways, it's the cutest dress. Can you guys see that? I freaked out because beside my big arms, I look so tiny. Now I'm going to have to wear a cardigan or something with it probably, um, unless I really get those arms in shape, but I freaked out, freaked out. I just keep freaking out lately. I guess that's some other non-scale victory about how small. I keep looking. I didn't know. I did not know. Okay, the other thing I want to share really quick is um, yesterday my husband and my best friend and I took a hand uh, handgun permit class. You got to take the class before you can get the permit. And it was a fifty dollar class. It was all day. We sat in a class and then we went out to the shooting range and shot. Which, FYI, I beat my husband and my best friend. I got ninety four percent. Whoop whoop. I think Ed got eighty six and Bree got eighty four. At the shooting range. I did bad. I didn't do that great on the test. I made like an 88 on the test. But in the shooting range, I actually did good. So, there was this woman, bless her. She kept walking around taking pictures of everybody. And Bree and I kept getting annoyed. We were like, why is she taking pictures? Well, she took pictures of us too and we didn't know it. Well, they posted them on their website last night. And when I saw the picture, I freaked out. I just, I was at mom and dad's when I saw it. And um, I just looked out. I just. I keep getting wigged out that I'm so st so skinny, and I'm not skinny, but I just keep getting wigged out about how small I am, and um, I just I just don't see it. So I want to show you this. I mean, I know there's a lot of people that are looking at that thinking that's not skinny. That is so skinny. I cannot get over how small I am. How funny is that? Um, just knowing where I started. To see me, I don't know. I guess it's just all starting to click. I mean, I know that I've lost 142 pounds, but unbelievable. I had no idea I was that small. Um, it's crazy. I just don't see it. I just don't see it. So, anyways, those are things I wanted to share on this happy St. Patrick's Day. So, hope you guys have a great weekend. Bye.